Hi Sagittarius, this is Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for the first week of July. Apologize that it is a little bit late. I've had a lot going on so it's just been a little busy. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. Typically my readings are love readings so just keep that in mind. That's what I focus on. Um, This may not be for you. This reading will be for somebody, not everybody. You know something. You know. You know something is up, okay? You could be involved in a situ situation that is manipulative. Uh, there could be some lies. There could be some... Some sneaky, shady business going on. You know what it is, okay? You have, you're seeing the situation clearly. So if you think something is up, trust your instinct, okay? If you think there's an issue, believe it, okay? There is some sort of temptation here as well. Maybe, I mean, this could even be you. I'm not sure, but, or you could be dealing with somebody who is trying to drag you into their nonsense. Keep that in mind. Just be careful, okay? Um, yeah, so you could be dealing with somebody who is up to no good, okay? I just need to tell you that. I think that you're doing good. You're feeling really happy at this time. You're probably feeling good. And, you know, maybe you get tempted by something. There could be addictions. There could be a party or something, and things go, go bad. Okay, because these can both be celebrations, but they're both reversed. So things could get out of hand. If you go to some sort of gathering or whatever, there could be an argument. Uh, somebody gets caught in a lie or gets caught doing something, and it really causes an uproar. So just beware. If you are at some sort of gathering and you, if you have a feeling that shit is going to go bad, get the hell out of there because you don't need to be a part of it okay so just a heads up on that one um that's a message for somebody i don't know who You know, people people see that you're that you're healing. They see that you're happy. They see that you know you're feeling pretty good about who you are at this time. They see that you've done a lot of inner work. They see that you are basically flying high. I, that's what I see. I see that. I mean, this is kind of like how people are seeing you. They see that you are are feeling happy. Okay, they, they you're you're projecting that you're happy anyway. You know, that you're projecting that, whether you are or not, is a whole different thing. But this is how they see you. They see you as as being fulfilled at this time in some arena. You know, you're looking happy, period, okay? But there's some sort of um, mask, because the devil is a mask. So you could be wearing a mask, pretending you're happy. Just, just saying, okay? I think you're investing in your own happiness. You're working on it. You're doing whatever you need to do to bring that happiness into your life. But you could be dealing with some people that are bringing you down. So just, you know, you could be dealing with somebody who doesn't have your best interest at heart. You know, to just extend beyond this party, this could be somebody in your life. You could have somebody that really isn't helping your growth, put it that way. They're bringing, they're bringing a, a feeling of discontent to your life and you may need to cut them out you may need to i feel as though you're make you're taking steps you're taking steps towards stability and security and you're focusing on your future you're work, focusing on your job you're focusing on doing everything better you know you're working on all this growth that you're going through and you're you're really putting in a lot of effort but you still have somebody who doesn't want to see you succeed and that's what it looks like and it could be more than one person so don't don't let people bring you down because that's a test. This Knight of Pentacles is a test card for me. It may not be for other readers, but for me it is. This is a test. You have somebody testing your perseverance. They're testing your growth. They're testing your happiness. They're testing your inner. They're testing what you know. 
That's what's going on here. So that is part of your growth. It is part of one of your, your script is to overcome this adversity. Okay? So yeah, you have somebody that doesn't like your success or doesn't like the fact that you are happy. It doesn't like who you are becoming or whatever. They're jealous. They're jealous of you. Could be more than one person. Could be a group of people. I don't know. But I feel like they're, they're unhappy that you are so, I'm trying to think of the word for it. So, you're an old soul. Do you know what I'm trying to say? You are, you're one. You are a light worker. You are a um, healer, whatever, along those lines. You know what I'm trying to say? You are a light. They're unhappy with your light. And so that's what, and that's what the devil does. The devil comes away to take away the light. So this is what's happening here. Don't let whoever this person is that doesn't want you to shine bring you down. Please, please, please. You know, this person is untrustworthy. They don't even know what they're doing. They don't care about anybody but themselves. They see that you're making progress. They see that you're be becoming more successful than you were. And they don't like it. So it's up to you to set boundaries. It's up for you to just pass this test and deal with this conflict with... with um, What's the word? Oh, uh, uh, a calm approach. Very calm, okay? Because these guys are calm. I'm just looking at, you know, their, their, their pentacles, okay? And just when I was said with, I was thinking of the, the feeling of how you approach this. Uh, the, the pentacles, you know, king, queen, page, whatever. They are very calm and collected and, you know, they don't lose their control. So this is the advice to you. Don't lose control. Just methodical. You know, just, just just keep it under wraps. Just handle it. Just handle it as, as calmly as you can and know that somebody sees your light. And that's what this is. See, that's what I said. How other people see. They see that you're happy. That makes complete sense. They see your light. They see your rainbow. They do. And people, the devil comes in. To steal the light. I just posted something on my Facebook group. And I put something under my daily vibes. About darkness. About in my last three daily vibes. Have been about darkness. Seeing the light. And this is totally resonating with you. This darkness. The devil is darkness. This is light. Somebody. A darkness. A darkness. A dark people. Or darkness. Devil energy wants to dim the light and that is what's going on in your life it's up to you to cut them out it's up to you to be strong it's up to see it's up to you to cut them out it's up to you to keep investing it's up to you to realize what this is Somebody doesn't appreciate you. <laughs> Somebody does not appreciate you. And you know what? That's their own problem. They're trying to bring you backwards. That's their own problem. That's their own lesson they're going to have to learn. They, they'd they like to see you fail. They want to see you fall through that ice. That's what they want. Somebody wants to see you fail. It's up to you to overcome it. It's time for you to um, come out of this darkness. That This is come out of the darkness. Don't let people other people's darkness bring you down walk away walk away somebody doesn't appreciate you tough shit okay this right here the wheel of fortune reversed this is going backwards some and, and this is a run of bad luck yes you're dealing with some bad luck at this point because you are being presented with a test a test of perseverance a test of strength yeah slow and steady wins the race just keep going don't quit keep investing Keep investing in yourself. This is a test. This is part of the plan. It's part of the script. Can you overcome this test? Can you? Can you overcome this test of strength? And even though I don't need no strength card to tell you what this is. You have the power. You have the power. You have it. 
Don't let anybody steal your power. This is the truth. This is the raw truth. And you know the truth and you speak the truth and other people don't like that shit. They can't take it. But this cycle is going to end. This bad luck that is happening right now is a totally 100% a test to see if you are ready for the next chapter, the ready for the next phase of your life. That is what is happening. You are presented with a test. Can you pass it? Are you ready? Are you ready? Ah, oh, the goosebumps. I got chills throughout my whole body. Um, yeah. Are you ready for this new beginning? This, this beginning, this growth, this excitement, this new adventure that is being presented to you? You are being presented with a new... God, my mind keeps going blank. A new opportunity that is so exciting that you probably won't even be able to hold on to it. Okay? This is expansion. This is why this is happening. Because you are ready for that next step. You are ready for that expansion. You are ready for that new adventure. Or not, the test is, are you ready? Can you overlook these people? Can you overlook this darkness? Can you? You have the power to manifest it. You have the power to do whatever you want. Your thoughts become things. Isolation. Midlife crisis. You know, through midlife crisis, we gain clarity. Through midlife crisis, we gain clarity. So many of you have been through some sort of midlife crisis, but it is serving you. I see that, I believe that you are going to pass at the test because of the perseverance, the cards around here, you are strong. You are about to find victory and success like you don't even believe. This right here is power, it is truth, it is clarity through isolation, through crisis. So this is a test. It comes in as bad luck. It comes in with, and it tries to bring you backwards. And it's up to you to say, nope, I'm too strong. I'm steady. I'm stable. I'm not stopping. I'm going to keep investing. I see your darkness, and I am light. And there's your strength card I was telling you about. I told you I didn't need the strength card, but apparently it wanted me to give it to you because that's what this is about. This is about strength. This is about courage. This is about confidence. This is about willpower. This is about oneness. And somebody is jealous. Don't let them hold you back. This is a test because you are on the verge of opening up like never before. What would you like Sagittarius to know? This is from the Angel Romance. What would you like Sagittarius to know? Now, as far as new love coming, good. it's coming. I don't see new love. I don't. If you're in a relationship, I don't see any big changes here. Could be your partner that's stealing your light. I don't know. You figure that one out. I feel like somebody is stealing your light and you need to cut them out, you know, somehow. Not let them steal your light. Whatever. Um, but as far as new love coming in, no, because right now you're, you're going through some test and that is top priority. Ooh, past life relationship. You have known each other before. Ooh, interesting. Oh, healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. Healing family issues, period. And this could be even family members that are trying to bring you down. I don't know. Somebody doesn't like your success. They don't like where you're going. They, they want to be above you. You know what I mean? They don't. That's what the story is. So it's up to you to find the strength to overcome it. Don't let anybody, anybody, anybody bring you down. 
let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally. It's out of your control. Again, with that wheel, for, wheel of fortune reverse, it is out of your control. This is a, you may not see it as a gift, but it is. It's a gift from the universe that is, is, is forcing you to pass a test to move forward. It's forcing you to find strength. It's forcing you to overcome this adversity. That's what's happening. So as far as new love coming in, if you do have a new love, maybe you've known this person before. Maybe, I, I don't know how that card resonates. This rest, rest of this reading is about um, following your own light. That's what this reading is about. It's about following your own light. Maybe once you get to the other side, maybe once you get to your destination, you, you connect with this past life relationship. I'm not sure if that's the case. Um, This could also be that this person that is bringing you down, it's past life karma that's dealing with. I mean, it can be. I'm looking, I'm not just looking at the picture, I'm looking at the caption. You know, when you have past life karma to deal with, with other people, it has to be dealt with. So I feel as though, I mean, that could certainly be the case for some of you. Um, either way, I see that, you know, you need to keep going, don't give up don't give up you know somebody could be rushing into your life as well if you are looking for love this knight of swords is somebody that could be rushing in that you have known before after you complete this cycle though because the world card is down here so this this situation that we're talking about needs to be completed before this person comes rushing in so that's what i see talk to you later